Hey friends, it's Susan from Legs Like Mine. So today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about what can I do and how I manage um, whenever my leg is just blown up and I have thrown, I am throwing everything I have at it to try and get it back down. So you guys know if you've been following me for a while that um, I wrote the book called Aqua Therapy for Lymphedema and Lymphedema and I have a pool in the backyard. So that is, for me, my number one line of defense is to go get in the pool. But what do you do um, after you've been in the pool and you wanna keep whatever swelling you just squished out with the hydrostatic compression? Um, you need to get your compression on or go get bandaged, right? So um, my insurance, unfortunately, doesn't cover a ton of visits to the certified lymphedema therapist. So what I had her do for me is teach me everything that she could about how to manage myself, and then I try and implement that at home. Also, a lot of people don't have access to people who can care for them. So they're having to take matters in their own hands, and that's why I'm showing you. Obviously, this isn't medical advice or anything like that, um, but this is how I do it. So um, I'm just gonna tell you, whenever I first got diagnosed with lipedema and lymphedema, I had never heard of compression. I thought, well, I've seen people wearing it, but I thought it was for burn victims, which it is, but I didn't know that it helped manage swelling for people who had chronic conditions like lipedema or lymphedema, right? So um, I went to the CLT. At the time, I was in like a really high management position, traveling all the time. I had to wear like business suits and stuff like that to work. And when she told me that I was going to have to be bandaged, I was like, nope, that is not going to work for me. And I actually negotiated with her to be able to wear Velcro wraps like over compression. And then that way they're thinner and I could wear them um, like underneath flowy dresses and stuff like that with a business jacket and still get around because bandaging for me, I hate it. I know it's part of the standard of care for people who have lymphedema, especially, right? But um, it is not my favorite. They fall down. You feel hot, you feel constricted, you feel itchy. I mean, just all the things. Okay, so in in general, I don't bandage, but whenever I need to bring out the big guns, I do. And um, the other thing is when I went to the CLT and she told me I was gonna have to be bandaged, she gave me a, a sheet of stuff that I needed to go buy from a website that was like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And it was a box of crap that was like foam padding and short stretch bandages, different widths and tape. And she wanted me to bring in a shoe that she could cut all up and everything. It was a lot. And so I was like, this is overwhelming and I could never do this myself. Um, when she showed it to me the first time, I was terrified like, so I can't take a shower because there's no way I'm gonna get this back on, blah, blah, blah. It just didn't work for me. And and ultimately, I ended up donating all of my traditional bandaging supplies to my CLT for people who could not afford that giant box of stuff. Um, I, For the most part, I use Velcro wraps. But there are times, like I'm right now, I'm working on a book, two books actually, <laughs> um, that I'm trying to get finished here within the next couple of weeks so they can go to editing and I'll have them ready for the Fat Disorders Resource Society conference in April, right? So... What that means is I'm at the desk eight, nine, 10 hours a day. I do have my vibration plate like right underneath my desk. I use it all day long. Even with compression, my legs are swelling up, especially my left one that's bad. So um, I have, I bought these things from a lady named Amy Rivera, who she is a, a primary lymphedema patient and hers was really, really bad. I mean, she's had a couple of surgeries on it and stuff now too but she bandages every single day and wears com like good compression all the time. And um, she partnered with this company to make short stretch bandages that were easy to use. They're called um, Fast and Go. And her website is Rivera Hybrid Solutions. I'm not getting paid or, or anything like that. I'm not a like influencer for her, but um, I've been using her product for a while. And so I wanted to share with you um, what it's like and what it's like to try and bandage myself. I, and I'm just gonna tell you all, I'm not a CLT. I don't get the bandaging perfect every time. What matters is, am I not hurting myself, right? I'm not creating some crazy tourniquet effect or whatever, and it's helping my swelling to go down. So um, if you can accomplish those things at home after getting educated, then, you know, 
they sometimes you have to do what you have to do. So anyway, um, for the, for the kits that I bought from hybrid, uh, from, no, let's see, Rivera hybrid solutions is the name of it. I bought two rolls of these fast and go bandages and, um, I was going to tell you, so they are really thin. You can see, um, they've, they've, it's like patented and everything I'm sure, but it's got a line in the middle and they are really short stretch. So ACE bandages, if you go, if you're like, Oh, I'm going to do this myself with ACE bandages, the stretch is completely different than um, bandages intended for decompression. Right? So on the end, there's just a big roll of this stuff. And on the end, there's little connecting pieces, which will make so much sense when you see it. Um, and there is, so I bought two rolls based on my leg size and I only wrap my left leg when I need to. Right. And then at the end, there's this little Velcro strap that goes on top. And I, and again, I'll, um, it goes well. The other thing I've been seeing Amy do on her website lately is she's been covering her bandage with an expand a sock and expand a socks. Um, they are not a compression sock at all. They're designed for people with um, big calves like me, because y'all know I have a 26 inch calf, right? Um, even after three lip edema removal surgeries, I'm a big girl. I'm almost six feet tall. I eat food, you know, all that. So anyway, um, expand socks have like a panel built into the back of them that is almost, it feels like lycra spandex, like what a really cheap bathing suit would feel like. Like it's not, there's no compression in this at all, unless they're too tight. <laughs> and then you don't want that kind of compression, right? So anyway, I'm going to try this expand sock I've owned these for a while and I'm going to try and put this on over my, um, my bandage once I get it on. I have not tried this, so it may not work. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to let you just sit with me while I put on a bandage today and you'll see me make mistakes. And that is cool because you guys know I'm not wearing makeup. I'm still wearing what I slept in last night. I am as real as it gets. I'm really a real patient, <laughs> right? And I'm just trying to figure this out the same way you guys are. So um, I am wearing shorts um, so that I don't do something stupid because I hate all the unwanted attention that people who have our curves get. And anyway, okay, all that covered. So I'm just gonna show you. So this is what's going on with me. This is my lymphedema leg. I've had surgery on it. And when I had surgery on it, it was really, really fibrotic. And um, this area right here is what's given me some problems. I call this area Larry the lump. And um, when I first had surgery, he got quite a bit of it off. Um, what I'm worried about right now is this little area right here um, because it's been swollen for a couple of days and there's like, I just haven't been able to um, get it down. And so what I'm doing right here is I'm just, there's lymph nodes on the back of my knee, everybody's knees actually. Um, and I'm just pressing them very lightly to try and kind of just wake them up so that maybe some of this, I'm gonna do a little bit of um, light massage to see if I can encourage anything to flow out before I wrap. And again, I'm not a therapist, but I know when I can feel the fluid moving out, um, that that's a good thing, right? So there's not a perfect way to do this. All right. Um, and then I like to sweep it up and out. I the, You have inguinal lymph nodes right here, like in the crease. And if you just press on them lightly a few times, it really can open them up so that um, lymphatic fluid can go up and out into your cisterna chili, I think is what it's pronounced. So those kinds of things, like the deep breathing where you're really moving your diaphragm up and out, um, it can help with lymphatic flow. And before this is over, I will need to use the bathroom because I literally, you can see the fluid moving in my leg. For whatever reason though, it always stops right there. And what I'm worried about is that that's gonna turn into a cuff if I don't get it under control. And I really, I mean, I know a lot of you all have cuffing. I hate it. I don't want it, terrified of it. And I feel so terrible for everybody who's got those, the cuffs that hang down. Um, I just really do. So anyway, okay, so the way that these bandages work is that that line in the middle is actually intentional. So, and I, this will make more sense when you can see more of it, but there's a line in the middle and you try and overlap it where the edge of the bandage 
um, ooh, it's stuck, has, is going over that line right here. So see the line right here? Okay. So now once you do the foot, it's easier. Um, I'm just rolling and I'm not pulling it, you know, like super tight because if you do pull it super tight in a little while, you will be one miserable mama because it's too tight. So these are short stretch bandages that have several layers added in them, but they're not nearly as bulky as if you went to the therapist and had them use like layer and layer and layer of bandages. Okay. So that's the end of the first one. And this is where those little end pieces that I showed you come in handy. So the second piece, it comes with a connector, which is really cool. Okay. So the connector, it hooks on with a little hook on that end piece. And what you do is you hook it onto the first piece like that, and then layer the connector underneath it so that there's never a spot where you're missing coverage, right? And so getting it on is a little bit tricky. When you do the first wrap with the second one, you wanna be sure that that under layer went right underneath it. Okay, so what I do, my main area of swelling is my left calf, right? This is chunk. <laughs> That's my snack pack right there. Okay, um, I'm gonna wrap up a little bit more but then for me, I'm actually gonna go back down and <clears throat> try and put a little bit more layering on my area that is problematic, which is Larry, right? So I'm trying to get down there as quick as I can, Larry. Okay, and I'm still just double wrapping double overlapping. Okay, so now I'm at the end. And then what they give you is this little fast and go strap. And what I've seen from looking at Amy's stuff is that she puts the white side out. The blue side is like the very light little teeth of Velcro is what it feels like. So you hook it on that little opening deal. And now um, the strap actually wraps around a couple of times. And I'm sure Amy's probably good enough at it where when she does her wrapping that the Fast and Go logo is up and all that, but I don't know. Okay, so on the other end, there's just another one of those little hooks. You see that? Okay. So what you do is you wrap it around and then the hook, let's see if I can get it on because it's in a weird spot. The hook just hooks on itself. I'll see if I can get my leg up to show you. <laughs> see right there? The hook just hooked on itself. So that's it. And it does not feel tight right now. Like it's not hurting because like I said, if I'm going to do this overnight or for several hours or just while I'm at my computer doing the typing, if you're doing it for very long, that bandage is going to get tight. So I'm sure therapists who go to school for this actually know like how much pressure to put on it and stuff. I'm just a regular girl <laughs> with an Instagram account. Anyway, okay, so now I'm going to try, normally at home, I just wear them. And then, and they're washable, which is pretty cool. You put them in a, like a linen bag or whatever, and um, then they just wash right up, which is really, really nice. Okay, so the expand a sock, hey, that's a really good idea because then you don't get your bandages as dirty. All right, so the expand sock is on. It's not providing any more compression. It's literally just kind of covering it up. And this is small enough where, now if I wanted to put on a pair of trousers, which I rarely wear trousers, but um, or like a dress or something, then I could still, like let's say I had a black expanded sock, I could put on a long dress and no one would even know that I'm wrapped. Like it's just not uncomfortable like wearing big bulky bandages is all day. So um, that's it. And when you when I bandage, again, I'm not giving you advice or whatever, um, you wanna look out for any areas where you've made it miserable 
because if it's miserable right at the beginning, it's going to be hell by the time you're ripping that thing off. <laughs> so anyway, that is how I use that new kind of bandage. And what will happen is um, here in a few hours, it this will start going down. And over the course of the day, I will continue kind of working lymphatic fluid up and stuff like that, drink lots of water to keep things free flowing. And um, if I wore this for like eight hours, my experience is that the bandage would start getting loose because it means it's moving fluid up and out and I'll have to pee a lot. So I hope whoop, this helps somebody. And for those of you that are going through bandaging, I'm sorry, but it does, it does help. <laughs> <laughs> and the more you can get swelling out of those legs, the um, better chance you have of it not becoming fibrotic. So getting the swelling down is super, super important. Anyway, drop me a line if you have any questions. Um, I will actually put a link to Amy's website. Again, I'm not a paid promoter for this. I just really, really like the product and it's easy for me to throw in a suitcase if I'm traveling and stuff like that. So um, why shouldn't you know about it, right? Anyway, I will see you later. I hope you have a really, really good day. Bye.